welcome to this edition of Tech and Toys. My name is Arthur what 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 and I am joined by Mr. Eddie Current. Today we are going to be looking at a newly released Valve Radio, which has just hit the market, but we're not happy with its current standing, so we're going to be converting it to futuristic technology. We're going to be utilising Bluetooth and transistor technology. Mm. Let's bring the radio out for display. And here it is. A fine specimen of the radio itself. Yes. Shall we rotate the beast and have a look at its internal workings? Yes. My, let's look in the back at all the electrical workings and gubbins going on inside. I'm noticing a lot of valves. Mm. They look like light bulbs, but they aren't in fact light bulbs, are they? No, they're in fact valves. The basic principle of a valve is thermionic emission. When the cathode is heated, an electrical charge passes from the anode, effectively creating an amplification within the circuit. Hmm, indeed. As you can see on this particular model, there are various buttons and knobs. Currently, the buttons on the front control various items thusly. Rotating the dial in the clockwise direction will increase the volumetric sound coming from the speaker system. The dial here controls the frequency of which station you wish to listen to. So, Mr. What, 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 should we take the gubbins out of the inside? Yes, let's strip out all of the crap which we're not going to be using so that we can put in more futuristic technologies. <laughs> Right, so we've stripped out the old, dirty amplifier. Unfortunately, there was no way to get it working again. Um, not that we can figure out anyway. There's, There's quite a, few a lot of valves bits that are missing or snapped yeah. off, and um, this is one of the valves that's not yeah. very happy. It would have been really nice to have had this running with the original amplifier, but... Um, it's just know, too far yeah, gone, Yeah, it's I too think. far gone, and these valves are very expensive to buy. Uh, so even if we had replaced the valves that were in here, I think that would have pushed us over our, Probably over our, our budget. budget. Yeah. Um, so obviously we were only given a £40 budget to, uh, to get this done. Um, so our plan moving forward is now that we've taken all of this out, we are simply going to invest in a little cheap amplifier, I think. Yeah. Uh, Bluetooth receiver, maybe a radio if possible, um, so that at least it can still pick up radio as it once did. Um, and we'll probably pop some LED lights in, um, that sort of thing. Uh, so. we, we've been told really not to change anything on, on the outside. Yeah, cosmetically, we want it to, to stay. Yeah, to stay. Is, original. It, yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, that's what we're going to do. So uh, now that we've taken this whole thing out, um, give you 40 quid if you lick the side. Mm, yeah, not today. <laughs> it's probably still live. It's um, very dangerous. But if, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll change out the, uh, yeah, I mean, the speaker. 
I'm fairly sure we can probably pick up another similarly sized one. I'm wondering um, what these go for, second because that doesn't look in bad shape. It's yeah. dirty, but it's yeah. Probably well, I'd be interested to see. Maybe we can offset that out. against his budget. Because <laughs> uh, £40 isn't a lot to spend on this, so this is going to be it sort of not. like a quick, dirty, cheap project. It's only a radio for the guy's shop, so uh, we thought we'd, uh, you know, just knock something together quick and easy for him. Yeah. Um, so uh, don't expect us replacing a valve amplifier and... Uh, no. And, and that sort of thing. So uh, anyway, got this out. Let's go and do some shopping online, pick up some bits and pieces, and, uh, okay, and then we can get it installed. Okay, so um, what we've done, as you've seen so far, is we've replaced this speaker unit here. We've also added a tweeter, um, just to, to give it a bit better high end, and a small crossover here on the back of the speaker, just to uh, uh, reduce the, the high end as we've added this tweeter. Uh, additionally, we have taken uh, this, this small amplifier here. Um, it had an infrared on the front. Now the infrared, obviously sat back here is gonna be no good. So uh, essentially we've extended that infrared to here um, and all the way up and made a hole here so that the infrared is sat behind the front grill. Uh, we've tested it and uh, the infrared works absolutely fine through the front grill. So we're not gonna see it. Again, part of the challenge of this was ensuring that we didn't change really as, m as many of the aesthetics as possible throughout this build. So we're running a small two channel, it's a 25 watt amplifier, which we're running in bridged mode. So it will just be a mono output, obviously to power this um, one pair of speakers in mono. Um, we've also extended the control for the volume and the on off switch out through the front of the cabinet. So we retain the original dials so that that will switch on the amplifier and adjust the volume at the same time. So the next stage is to install uh, LED strips. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do anything with uh, the section at the front uh, that shows the um, FM uh, or medium wave, short wave uh, tuner bar that used to go up and down. There's just no way to replicate that. So we thought it would at least be nice to install here uh, sort of a, an LED strip section that's going to just shine light up through that. Um, and also, uh, we need to reinstall these sections here. Um, which are just uh, the, the short wave, medium wave stations that, that listed and you would usually be controlled by the rotary dial in the middle, which unfortunately, again, we can't use. Um, but we obviously want to retain all those uh, looks of the original and not do too much. But one thing that we have actually done is we wanted the ability to utilize USB, which um, this amplifier actually has the ability, if you've got MP3s or what have you, plugged in via the USB connector on the front here, um, you would be able to play your MP3s directly from this. Now we wanted this feature, the only way we could get the, uh, the USB in a nice, um, sort of visually looking at, but accessible way was we've actually taken out uh, one of the small um, uh, sort of windows that were showing what, what radio stations are uh, and we've installed 
a USB connector. It's literally a uh, just an extension lead, and we've popped that out the front. So once we've installed this back in the front, we can plug the other end of the extension cable into the amplifier, and that then extends that out. We've also built some small LEDs so that the lighting through where these little grills are, um, they will illuminate so it will look like it's um, original. Right. So here's the volume control from the front. We've came, uh, retained the original dial, we've extended the dial slightly and we've slotted both together and epoxied them so that it can't be pulled out. So this switches on the amplifier and adjusts the volume with a nice click so that you know it's going off and on. We've done the same on this side and this one will be for the LED lights, for the LED lights to switch on the lights that will be here and on the top of the grill. Yeah, so we've got that down here, and that, that is, uh, we're actually going to be using the existing uh, control uh, that was was in this side, so we need to refit this into the back. Um, because of the, uh, the, the, the subframe that uh, used to hold everything in place, we've obviously had to build up in the back here uh, uh, some wood um, to, to allow us to sit that in the exact correct position and then we can refit the dial on this uh, here to be able to control the LED lights coming off and on. So at least we have some functionality still from the dials on the front. So we have completed the project at last. It hasn't taken too long, just a few hours. As I said, this was a sort of quick and cheap project for someone. Uh, so just to recap, we've got uh, uh, on the front here, the LED lights, turn this one on and some backlights behind here, but in the bright lights of, uh, of our warehouse here, you can't see those lights coming on, but they, they do come on. So uh, uh, nice little bit of illumination you know, it retains a little bit of this, no functionality, unfortunately, but it's, it, it yeah. looks a lot better. So I guess all that's left to do is to try it out, see what she sounds like. Um, so let's turn her on. Okay, I won't go too loud because it might blow the microphone up. So it defaults to line-in mode, so we can switch over with this to radio. Here, West Cliffs. And there we go, so it's picking up. We are on a big metal box here, so radio yeah, is going to be particularly brilliant. Yeah. Um, the radio does work, so we can go over to Bluetooth, Island. hopefully. He's let that join to my phone. Okay, and we'll just play some music, see what happens. Pleasantly surprised, oh, actually, yeah. yeah. It's a nice, clean sound. It is. Nice with the bass you know. as well. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Yeah. So, I think that's a project well done, to I be think honest. so, indeed. On a budget. Would have liked to have done a bit more with it, but, you know, when you're told how much you can spend, exactly, you yeah. can't go overboard. So, um, anyway, I think that sums it up for us today, so yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on our next video.